Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat, and as you probably know by now, uh, we have released our new version 27, uh, so there will be a bunch of new videos coming out covering all the new features that we've added to the version 27. Uh, but to begin with, I just want to cover uh, a common question that comes up quite a bit. Uh, it has to do with engraving and working with logos and uh, how to convert your uh, image files into geometry that you can machine. So you will need a copy of the BobArt software, a license of the BobArt software. Uh, there's a tab for BobArt and when you get into here you can just right click on images and choose uh, load image. From there you can uh, grab, a, there's a bunch of different uh, image types that you can choose from, but you can grab your logo. Now once you have your logo uh, if you hit I on your keyboard, uh, that can uh, turn the viewing of the logo on and off. And um, really, at this point, it's it's just an image. This image actually is pretty clean. Uh, we're looking for a good contrast uh, between black and white. The better contrast, uh, the better the vectorization process. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can work with this. Um, in this case, I'm just going to right click where it says image and go to vectorize. Now there's a, a threshold value here and you can turn it all the way down or all the way up and uh, in between you'll see how it affects the crispness of the image. So once you kind of get a visual uh, confirmation that the image looks how you want it to be vectorized, uh, there are a bunch of settings down here that you can adjust um, what the um, uh, as far as the tolerance of the uh, geometry being created, uh, usually I just leave the default, but sometimes you can go in there and adjust those parameters to get a different result. This image is pretty clean, so we'll be okay. Uh, the other thing we can do here is um, we can adjust the size. So I want this to be about uh, uh, within a one inch uh, diameter, so I'm going to adjust my X value to one inch, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. And then from there, I've actually generated the uh, the wireframe from the Im image. If I just hit I on my keyboard, I can blank the image out. And then from here, we can uh, roll in, and uh, you will see that we now have geometry that we can use for engraving. Now, depending on whether you want uh, double entities um, or single entities, you can come in here and select some of these profiles and delete them. Um, or you can uh, use them for your engraving process. Now, after you've vectorized the geometry, if you want to uh, scale it up or down, um, you can always go to Utilities and Translate and use your Scale Factor, and you can use this to uh, scale your geometry up, or you can use it to scale your geometry down. So uh, you will notice that once you have converted your image, uh, it is a uh, chain, so it's nice clean geometry. Uh, sometimes it doesn't follow the shape perfectly, uh, just to be kind of, uh, depends on the pixels. Like you, you can see in some of these areas, it gets uh, a little twisted. Uh, depending on um, how small you're going to make it, that may or may not be a factor. Um, you can always go in and clean up that geometry. So uh, a classic concept of how to convert images for engraving. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, reply back to the, the thread, the Facebook, or the YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys.